there are several steps involved in diagnosis and treatment of pneumonia. As with most diseases, pneumonia cannot be diagnosed with only one diagnostic tool. Diagnosis is like a puzzle that is solved on the basis of findings of different tools available to the clinician and each tool plays an important role. Treatment should not be started unless all or most tools are pointing in one direction. These tools are history, physical examination, imaging tools like chest x-ray, CT scan or ultrasound. The fourth one is laboratory test. Because of time restriction, we'll only discuss two tools in this lecture and remaining two will be discussed in the ne next lecture. History. History plays a very important role in every diagnosis. In case of pneumonia, patient presents with the history of cough, fever, chills and lethargy. But it is important to understand that many other conditions can and do present with similar symptoms. For example, cough and fever can also be caused by tuberculosis and cancer as well as number of other illnesses. So how do we make up our mind? Well, if a patient has had a close contact with a TB patient at home, for example, or has been a heavy smoker, we cannot just say patient has pneumonia and go home. On the other hand, patients with tuberculosis or any type of lung cancer will usually have a history of weight loss. In cancer or tuberculosis, sim symptoms are usually chronic rather than acute. And in most cases of cancers, age also plays an important role, although there are exceptions. Age also plays an important role in diagnosing the type of pneumonia. It helps in identifying if the culprit is virus, bacteria or mycoplasma. Uh, pneumonia, for example, in children is mostly caused by viruses. Again, there are frequent exceptions. Children under 5 years of age are not affected by mycoplasma. Fever. High-grade fever is most, uh, mo most likely caused by bacterial infections. History of smoking, especially in el elderly patients, you cannot easily rule out possibility of lung cancer. So, for the sake of simplicity, let's assume that our patient is 25 years of age, does not have any history of smoking, does not uh, have any family history of cancer, has not lost any weight in recent past, and does not have any history of alcohol or drug abuse. Also, patient has never worked in mining industry or with asbestos or with chemicals. So, we can think of maybe pneumonia, but this is not enough to make a diagnosis. So, we'll have to use uh, the next tool, which is uh, physical examination. Physical examination. So, we'll be limited to auscultation percussion here. Auscultation is the use of a stethoscope to hear the sounds that are produced within the body. So, we'll use auscultation on chest. Rails, a bubbling or crackling sound and rails on one side of the chest while the patient is lying down are strongly suggestive of pneumonia. Ronchi, which is abnormal rumbling, indicates presence of fluid in lungs. Percussion, which is tapping of chest lightly with fingers. If it returns a dull third sound, it indicates consolidation or pleural effusion or both. So the lecture is prepared for www.academyofprofessions.com and these are the references. Thank you very much.